Okay, if I said you can have pasta ribbons made with butternut squash, you can have zoodles made with zucchini, you can have green apple ribbons. You know, it's so funny. We like to start these today's special presentations with what we call a wow. Wolfgang, you had me at zoodle. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did. I, I am so I excited love you that did machine. this. My children at home love it. So it's really one of these things. You say, how come I didn't buy that yep. before already? How come it wasn't available already? Well, you know, things come and go. We used to sell, sure. grill. We used to sell, uh, sell uh, panini grills and things like that. But we know now more and more what is good for us, what is important for us. And we know more and more that, you know, we want good flavor, mm -hmm. but also something healthy for our body. Because yes, that do. way we don't have to see the doctor. And, you know, it's really an important part it is. to eat healthy. Do you know over 1,400 already gone? We're going to be wow. cooking up a storm. We're going to be zoodling yeah. our brains out. I'll just show you the color choices real quickly because we've got so much to do. You can choose from the white. By the way, we expect the pink to be gone in my show. If I've, I've got the black at home, I ordered it on the first Friday show with Amy and Adam. I want pink. I'm going to have two because I'm zoodling my brains out. <laughs> then, of course, of course, you know I love my red. The Wolfgang Puck blue, the black. And here's what's cool. First time in history. You know, no one does an electric spiralizer. I think I have everyone known to man the manual crank ones, the one where it takes you an hour to do a radish or a carrot. No one has an electric one. Not only is his electric, it comes with three different blades. Now, here's your Julianne blade. So that does the famous zoodle, right, that we're all familiar with. You also get this really kind of nice, wide, this is kind of like the fe fettuccine. You know, it's like the fettuccine noodle, if you will. So you can also make those beautiful rosettes. Those are like, I think, watermelon radishes that uh, Marion was talking about. And then this cool little cone, and that does these big, beautiful, eat with your eyes ribbons. And then, of course, a great cookbook, extra carafes, and get the spiralizer cookbook that Marion has written. It's so hard to find these. Wolf, I am in love with this You are product. in love, and so is everybody who ever mm -hmm. tried it. Why? Because it makes you look like you went to Paris to cooking school and you make everything taste good and delicious. And you know, we eat with our eyes first. So that's important. Now, could I slice the apples like that? <gasps> I, that. I don't think so. <laughs> Even I'm doing that for 50 years, I, I, could, I wouldn't be able to slice apples like that. But you know what? I would eat apples. As yeah. a kid, if you can't get your kids to eat fruit, they look at that and it's fun. Yeah. It looks like little spaghetti, you know, ap appellinos. Exactly. All you have to do is stick it on it, <laughs> right? put it in here. And watch what Wolfgang does. You look hit one button. That? One With one hand. Button. One button. Hey, I do also want to point out, because uh, just so you know, whether it's apple pies or just getting the kids to snack, I have 3,000 extra carafes. If you're going to be zoodling your brains out like I am, <laughs> get the extra carafe. I'm just telling you, because maybe you want to do savory, like, you know, a zoodles in one, and then you want to do sweet, like apples in another. So we have 3,000 of those. Woo! The book will not last the yeah. day, because everyone who's Boy. getting this is getting the book. Yeah. And you know what's so cool? It's hard bound. It's everything from savories. You're gonna see us do parsnips and Brussels sprouts and onions and potatoes and yams. I mean, you got a whole thing of apples going on there. Now look at that. So because one of our favorite salad in our restaurant is the apple salad. Yeah. So we use all kind of apples we get at the market. So it could be Granny Smith apples like oh, this sure. one here. Or it could be Fuji apples or Pink Lady, oh, you Wolfgang. decide. You could not do that manually. Well, I could not do There's that no manually. Way. And I, I There's do no that way. for many years. So what we no do way. then with our apple salad. So we're gonna add a few dates. Okay. Mm. And then we and this have is something you do in one of your restaurants. We are doing in all of our restaurants. Oh, I didn't know a cut that's Spago at the Belair Hotel. I haven't had People this just one. ask for it. And do we have a little vinegar? If this not is cherry okay. vinegar. Okay, a little right. dash of vinegar or lemon juice. You don't need a lot. Okay. The oil is right here. A little touch of oil, and right. we add a little touch of honey okay. too. So it's so yeah. simple. But I should point out those are, and you know what? I might, uh, Renee, if, if somebody could grab me the mixing bowls from last hour, that's what Wolfgang's using yeah. to um, dress the salad. So you mix them all really perfectly. Oh, that huh? smells so good. <laughs> and you know what? It's the flavor. It's all about the taste. So then, look at that. You make a beautiful wow. apple salad. 
Okay, here it looks good and it tastes even amazingly it better. It does. Okay, now <laughs> this is not to scare anybody. Here's the the this is a whole salad system. Do you know you get a five quart, you get a four quart, you get a three quart, you get a two quart. I mean, basically, it's a whole cooking system. You can check with your what service representative for details. And then I want you to see this carafe. I have three thousand of them. Mm -hmm. This is probably going to be the only show where you can get it. Now, obviously, you get a carafe, you know, with your purchase. But I'm going to be zoodling my brain out. Uh, if you want multiples, because then you can do sweet in one, savory in one. I mean, it's entirely up to you. 3,000 only. And Which most of you are getting the cookbook. The I'm just telling you, try huh? this, try this, try this. I believe I have tried, because in the last, you know, year or two, you guys have seen me slim down. You know, there's more to come. But part of what I had to get up was pasta. And I miss it. So I tried all those little spiralizers, yeah. the hand crank ones uh -huh. that I spent $30, $40 on, the yep. little manual teeny tiny ones that took me an hour to do a radish or a carrot yeah. you have cracked the code my friend i know and so you simple have. so what do i do with my children at home look at the carrot oh, zucchini pretty that is we mix them all and i tell them we have vegetinis tonight <laughs> now they know instead of spaghetti <laughs> and you know who is the happiest about that huh. is my wife galila why say, because she said if I eat carbs at night, it goes right where well, I don't want it. No, you're right. I mean, and but you know what? We love carbs. And the thing is, yeah. I'm not kidding. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see some of the uh, the zoodles that I made. But, you know, I, I looked at my, my yeah. little Fitbit. On my little Fitbit, it would have been over 400 calories yeah. worth of regular pasta. Okay? That was like 400 calories worth of, of zoodles. That was 36 calories, okay? Yeah. 36 calories. Now, look, look calories what I'm going to do. So, I have raw, delicious vegetables mm. sun dried tomato. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, mm -mm. mozzarella cheese. Mm. Oh, the cheese is a good addition. See, oh, okay, so now, yeah. Marianne going to bake it. Oh, no You're still going to, if you want, you can add a little drizzle okay. of olive oil. It's All fine. Right. I'm going to have to try that. But you know what? Your kids okay, will good. never turn up their nose at vegetables Boiler? ever again. Boiler. Under the boiler. Okay. Hey, by the way, Wolf is going to do some cooking. Uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, zoodles and yeah. uh, zucchini and, uh, you know, zalanya <laughs> or whatever <laughs> we want to call it, we also have a five-quart deep dish one of a kind. I have a thousand of uh, one of Wolfgang's most popular pieces included right. in his cookware set. It's never been done as an open stock. It is tonight for 1,000 people and 1,000 people only. So you'll definitely want to pre-order. What, what are you putting in there? I got, uh, I'm going to reduce a little cream and okay. I make a little sauce for my for your noodles, noodles here. Can okay. you get me a little more noodles? Okay. Sure. All right. All right. So I just toss them yep. in here instead of having pasta. And that, do right. we have a tongue? You, you know what's so funny? When, when when Wolfgang said, get me more more zoodles, yeah. if you would have done that to me with my Thank old you. ones, I would have cried. So, because it would have taken me like that. an hour, <laughs> right? So <laughs> a little cream is okay. Just don't put too much. Okay. And then you toss your noodles right. in here. Look at that. But Wolfgang, you're saving hundreds of calories. You can yeah. afford a little cream. You can afford a little Look butter. At that. I mean, that's just, I didn't feel bad about putting butter in my zoodles because I was already saving like 350 calories. Exactly. Oh. So now, oh, so if you want to give it flavor, oh. use Parmesan. Okay. And sprinkle Parmesan mm. on it. Look at that. You know so what? you bring that to the table as a side dish, as a main course. If you want to, a little fresh basil on Beautiful. top. Beautiful. I'm and telling that's it. you, if you only did this for one meal, you're going to lose weight. Yeah. No, I'm serious about that. If, if you know spaghetti and meatball night or pasta, I mean, any of us who have had to give up the carbs and I, yeah. I dream of pasta. I wasn't kidding when I say that. I dream of <laughs> pasta. He's yeah. giving it back to us. And frankly, I like it better because I'm not hungry. 15 minutes later, exactly. I, you know, right? You know, normally you eat pasta and then you get the, that sugar spike, yeah. the high and the low. You'll never miss the extra carbs. Now, remember, we have 3,000 only of the extra carafe. Most of you, with almost 3,000 gone, are also getting Marion's cookbook. I have to say, if you're getting it, we don't have as many of the cookbooks, FYI, and wonderful ideas to kind of get your creative juices flowing. And then the final thing I want to mention, if you want that pink, Steve, we have, what, fewer than 5,000 for the entire day on the pink. Yeah. 
Okay, well, well fewer. That means a lot less, <laughs> apparently. So if you want that pink, you're doing it. Now, what are you doing over here? Okay, so now let me see if that turned it on. Yeah. Okay, Okay, so good. I'm gonna toss the carrots. You know, we always like tomato basil pasta. Oh, right. look, look what yeah. Miriam poured out here. See oh, that? Oh, you two. guys. Look at it in you two guys, minutes. Guys, Can we guys. get a close up here? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm, and you have the oh, flavor of gosh. the vegetables. You yeah. know, that's, it's really, no water here, no nothing. All the nutrients are right, right on the platter here. Brilliant. So it's okay, two things. We want to show you how this works. Yeah. First of all, leave it to Wolfgang. They all nest together, like a little Russian nesting doll uh -huh. or the mixing bowls that I'll show you, uh, uh, you know, again, all the attachments. Unlike every other spiralizer I've ever used, they usually just have the julienne. Yeah. This has three different blades. Oh, you're doing like tomato basil, carrot pasta. Tomato basil, carrot. Why? Nice. It's delicious because the carrots have natural sweetness. Sure. If you don't cook them in water. Right. If you cook them in water, all the flavor is gone. Right. So then you don't have right. the good flavor anymore. Is that anymore. your tomato soup that you're using for that? Tomato soup, it? yeah. Okay, sounds and good. And then I'm gonna add some raisins to it. Oh, now that's a good tip. So you can add a little cumin to it and have oh. a Moroccan dish. Oh, okay. So Wolfgang, as that cooks up, I want Marion to show everybody how easy this is. Yeah. Because okay, Marion, you're gonna grind okay. a little okay. more? Yeah. So, here we go. So there's three plates that you're gonna choose from. This is the twin curler one that you just saw Wolfgang use. Right. This makes the wide ribbon. Yeah. And then right next to it is your little julienne. Oops, this is it. There we this go. This is the julienne blade, so it makes more like a spaghetti. Right. So here's the great craft. I love that he put measure marks, because if your recipe calls for four cups of zoodles, oh, true. you're going to know exactly when you're there. Good point. You drop it down in. There's a little toggle for it to go in. Right. Here's your collar. This helps you guide the vegetable yeah. in. And you go can actually it hear it click. Yeah. And there's little teeth on the end of the motor part, which is great. Right, that's your gripper. So you're going to center your vegetable, and if it fits yep. in between here, you don't need to trim it unless you choose to. Right. Okay. Stab it on, yep. and away we go. Press that one button is all you're so going to cool. do, and the magic happens down below. Yeah. Don't we love Wolfgang <laughs> Shannon? So uh, now no, so look at that. Can we get a close-up oh, of my carrots here? My kids uh, don't want to eat cooked carrots, but uh, when I saute them with a little tomato sauce, heart. a little... Uh, basil. Can we get a little closer here? Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. boy, now look oh, at that. Boy, oh, you think boy. you're going to go to a three-star restaurant? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So okay. if you won't put cheese on it or just keep it like that, you can put yeah. a few raisins on top too or put some nuts in there. Oh, and my gosh. Okay, let me just point something out. Now, anyone who's used any other spiralizer in the world, yeah. I have the hand crank ones, I have the little itty-bitty ones where it takes you an hour to do a radish. I'm not kidding because I've been trying to, I've been, you know, leaning down over the last yeah. couple of years. In 10 minutes, Wolfgang did this beautiful, I think it's an alternate, you know, yeah. to kind of a, a We call it Vegetine, Vegetine Alfredo. Vegetine Alfredo. That. His beautiful apple salad that is famous in his yeah. restaurant. Look at that, how fast I can cut them. Right. See and, that? and look at, he's going to, to town with more apples yeah. at the same time. Then, of course, you've got this beautiful, I love those zucchini ribbons, that wonderful julienne. I'm dying to get my hands on that. Instead of tomato basil pasta at over a thousand calories, calories. Yep. that, even with the sauce, is maybe two or 300 uh -huh. maybe maybe and yeah. then of course that beautiful zucchini bake with the cheese and then look what marion did literally in seconds hands not yeah. tired if you have arthritic hands like i do this will be a godsend even if you just use it as garnish i'm serious even if you didn't eat it it's so pretty. And you know the other thing that I love too, Wolfgang? I was yeah. doing this last night. You can go from an apple to yeah. a butternut squash to a carrot to a zucchini, all with the same uber powerful machine. And when I ha have used those manual ones before, yeah. No kidding, I can barely get through a, a carrot before my hands start to hurt. That's why when you said, when you told Marion, get me more zoodles, I'm like, if yeah. you would have done that to me and I was doing this any other I'm way, not. I'd like, forget yeah. it. No. <laughs> you can see, look how beautiful and fresh yeah. they are. So okay, if you I make a salad or anything, add apples to it, even if it's a mm. lettuce salad, it's so good. All right, I gotta try a bite of that. All right, yeah. in the meantime, uh, Jane in Arizona got our today's special. Jane, welcome to the show. Hi, Jane, how oh, are you? Thank you. Hello. Hi, Jane. It's such, a, such an honor to talk to both of you. Well, thank you thank so much. Thank you so much. Well, I got the spiralizer in red, uh -huh. and I got the cookbook. Good girl, Jane. And I want to thank you so much, Chef, for doing this because um, I've had to be, I've been put on a gluten-free diet. Yes. Uh -huh. And I, I'm like, Jen, I like pasta, but it's like... Now, if I go to a restaurant, I can't have it. I know. I know. 
So this will be great. It will. And Jane, it's so funny because, I, I mean, people want to go to an Italian restaurant and I almost want yeah. to cry. Yeah. You know, I know. It's like, oh, it, stuff I can't have. Right. And, you know, now this is my own personal experience, but I personally, because I get those little blood sugar spikes. So, yeah. you know, in addition to it going to my waistline, you, right. I, I like this better you than, know what? than my fettuccine. If you get to a certain age, sure, my right. son Oliver, who is 19 years old, you right. know, 11 years old, I said 19, <laughs> he's 11, I'm getting crazy about So he doesn't gain any weight because he runs like sure, crazy. Right. He plays soccer. He can do he it. He does everything. Yeah. Now, another way, I showed you here how to make a... Jane, you will love it. Happy oh, eating. Look at that chain. I'm going to cut it in half way into the pit here. Thank you, Jane. We love you. And then you can make just slices. Right. So here's the thing. Steve is telling me, what, only 4,000 of the pink for the whole day? Okay, final 4,000 for the pink. This may be the only show where you can get the pink. And you know what? 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Do, you know, zoodles and, and meatballs for yeah. your kids. You know, it's so funny. When I used to have a cheat day, I would I would have to count the meatballs because the pasta would be like three, 400 calories. I know. Now I can have my meatballs and eat it too because the zoodles, no kidding, look it yeah. up. I mean, a few dozen calories at best. Even if you eat like a whole zucchini, it's like 36 calories or something crazy like yeah. that. And so that's why I didn't feel bad about putting butter in my zoodles. If you have missed it as much as I have. I, do you know, I was looking forward to this today's special, maybe more than anything I've launched with you ever, because I have felt well, so deprived. Well, it is a world premiere. We never had that before. Ever. It's the first time ever. ever. So now you can make salads. You can make all these things in your home look yeah. like you worked at Spago. Yeah, at it's true. And you know what's so funny? Because maybe the number one thing that I've done in the last couple of years, because I've leaned down, you know, considerably, yeah. you know, ish, and, you know, more to come, but, you know, pasta was the, one of my number one culprits. I just, I love it. And if you're like me, you don't feel cheated. You know, the other thing is, Marion, you, you, you look at this beautiful bouquet of things you have. There, you're almost really only limited to your imagination in terms yeah. of what you can, you know, spiralize, basically. It's like totally. anything that fits in that little chute, you know, more yeah. or less. Or if not, you can slice them down, right. make them I mean, smaller. So if you your can... apple, if you bought some apple or you have some at home, yeah. they don't fit, what would you do? Absolutely. Just cut off the side a little bit and, hey, and that's two, it. Two things I do want to point out. Now remember, it all nests together, so he's not creating a separate uh, storage issue. So if you, in fact, that takes up less room than my blow dryer in my, in my bathroom. I, I mean, it really does. We have a thousand and a thousand only of the five quart. It's a deep dish casserole. Uh, that item number is at the bottom of your screen. And most of you who are getting the today's special are getting Miriam's cookbook. And the only thing that's a little scary about that, we did not bring in as many of these cookbooks. So just kind of fair warning, guys and gals. It's going to get your creative juices flowing. I mean, now I'm looking for things to spiralize. Yeah. I got the black because that was all that was available during uh, the first Friday with Amy and Adam. Now I'm going to get my pink. Wolfgang, yeah. you have absolutely Look at that. I made park. a beautiful daikon. Oh. Now look how beautiful that looks. Mm. See that? And how refreshing. See that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. But you know what? It Perfectly is sliced. Each slice is as thin. So I know. But if you're doing meatless Mondays, yeah. sometimes you feel like a little, you know, deprived, you know, not to be disrespectful, but you get inspired. You want to eat uh -huh. your fruits. You want to eat your vegetables. Uh, so Laura is calling in North Carolina. Oh, Laura, you're live with the gang. Welcome to HSN. Hi, Laura. Hi. So, Hi, Laura. How are you? <laughs> Oh, I want to say thank you for inspiring people to want to cook. Yes. Because I hate to cook. <laughs> I really do. I'm 53. I'm overweight. I drive a truck. I got lazy. Kitchen, I hate. But I got to watching him last year. He's got me hooked. I bought pots and pans. I bought the pressure cooker. I've gotten the power spiralizer tonight with a cookbook. Good thank girl. You. Hey. I know, and, um, and Laura, I don't know if you've tried other spiralizers, but don't you love how easy this one yeah. is? Now look at that. You are like a, I know Shannon always tries to lose weight. I, right, for I do. me, it's almost impossible, but I try hard too. Right. So now, if you want to make a happy salad, look at that. So I have different kind of radishes, apples. Yeah. You decide on the vegetables you like, and yes. then. So that's a watermelon yeah. radish. And watermelon in case radish. We're, we're taking Daikon notes. Daikon radish. Okay. And then 
What I do, I add apples. Why do I add apples? Because it sweetens oh, it. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah, so you have this kind of the spice in the radish. A little spicy from the, the radishes. Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna add a little lemon juice. Right. And then some chicken breast. And some well, raisins, some golden raisin here. Okay. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. I know. And you have a salad. You do. Which is hey, going to be so good for you. Laura, North Carolina, we didn't mean to hang, leave you hanging, but uh, what's the first thing that you're going to make? Do you know? Any ideas? Um, actually, um, I want to do uh, some vegetables and maybe like a stir fry type thing. Um, and maybe be able to take it on the truck with me because I go to Miami and back twice a week. And so I'm like, I, I'm excited because I can fix it now, prepare it, and be able to warm it up on the road. So, yes. And just to be able to stand on the fruit going down the road. Absolutely. Yeah. Laura, best of health to you. Thank Safe you, Laura. On the road, okay? Enjoy. Now, look at that, Thank Laura. You, Laura. I made a beautiful little salad here. Beautiful. It doesn't cost as much money, yet it tastes so delicious. Chicken, apples, a little radish, and that's it. So you can add what you like to your salad. I would and eat so many more vegetables if they were... Yeah, and vegetables. the kids too. My kids eat vegetables now, Alexander and Oliver, all the time because they're cut like that. But just to eat zucchini, none of us really get very excited about it. I know my kids and grandkids don't. We don't. But when you see them done this way, oh yeah. my gosh, it's so Look at that. Beautiful. You bring that to the table, you don't going to feel like you get deprived of anything. All right, now let's do a little stir fry, Marianne. Get okay. me a little bit of the... Uh, carrots, a okay. little bit of parsnips, whatever it is. I will heat up a pan. A parsnip right here. Look what Marianne is doing here. I've got, do you want Brussels sprouts too? Whatever it is. Whatever you like to eat, I'd cook. <laughs> See, that's what I love most about I mean, you're only limited to your imagination. All right, with only 10 minutes left in the presentation, you can see Marion going to town. No kidding, I, I, what I should have done is take video with some of my other spiralizers yeah. and then video with this, because they have left me in tears. No kidding, where I'm cranking, you know, I've got arthritic hands where I just had to stop. Yeah. And then I don't get enough noodles or zoodles to make a, a meal, basically. I was having so much fun, I was flying. <laughs> through things. I kept looking for things to, you know, spiralize. So two things. I'm just going to take you on a tour of what you get. Uh, Steve, I'm guessing right the in. black is the most popular. So oh, we, red is the most popular. Ginger, so but. red and black, white, pink could be gone in this show. The Wolfgang Puck Blue, you're getting a carafe, but I would absolutely pick up that other carafe. It all nests together, so it's a smaller footprint than my blow dryer. And then you're getting not one or two, but three inserts with the blades where most people just give you one. Here's the Julianne. That, you know, is your typical zoodle. Then you've got this wider ribbon. That's that watermelon radish. Isn't that beautiful? They're just, oh my gosh, they just look like egg noodles, like big buttery egg noodles, okay. only, you know, <laughs> hundreds of fewer calories. And then of course this big cone, that might be my favorite. That's kind of this, um, almost like a ribbon effect, if you will. So beautiful, so affordable, but only for today. Uh, uh, oh, that's it. Now we're gonna look okay. at, you know, any kinds of food, like. Yes. You wanna make a little Chinese food, for example? Okay. I have some smoked okay. turkey here, or okay. ham, whatever you have. Okay. Add a little touch of garlic. Garlic. Hey, Wolfgang, do you know you're well ahead of what they already anticipated? A little bit of ginger. Okay. All right. We saute that for a, okay. a second. Okay, give me a little soy sauce, what do you have here? Hey, just so you know, guys, this is okay. the pan that Wolfing is using. It's never been an open stock piece. Yeah. I have a thousand of them tonight. So it's on sale, oh, 900 only yeah. of the pan that Wolfgang is using. Now here, all the vegetables. Here we have parsnips. Now oh. we add them all in here. Okay. Carrots. Look at how pretty Sweet that potatoes. is. Sweet potatoes. Wow. And because it's all cut evenly, I would yeah. imagine that it's going to cook. And they cook at the same time I was just going to say, it probably yeah, cooks exactly. evenly too. So look at that. Oh, Let's, okay. Yeah. Do you know what? Okay, now give me the I, green one I want to take a picture of it. I know. Oh, you can. All right, okay. So now I'm going right. to a little salt. Don't forget salt and pepper. Okay, sounds good. 
No. Uh, all right, as we do that, Regina is calling in Pennsylvania. Hey, Regina, welcome to the show. Hi. So, Regina. Hi, Regina. Mmm, smell that, <laughs> Regina. Can you come in I close in here? You should be here, Regina. Oh, look at that, Regina. You can do the same thing. All you have to do is five vegetables and a little exactly. garlic. Exactly. Hey, Regina, what made you decide to get our today's special? Um, well, uh, definitely a necessity to uh, do a little dieting, and yep. um, I'm trying, trying to eat healthier. Oh, yeah. And my kitchen is almost entirely Wolfgang Puck, so I, ha I have to. Yeah, of course. Just had to do it. I know. Whenever he brings up something new, Regina, we've got to do it, right? Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, Regina, I wish I could see your face when you try it for the first time. I, because I've used other spiralizers, I squealed like a little kid in the candy store because it was so easy, yeah. it was so fast, and now, I, I've only had it mine for a few days, but I find that I'm eating more vegetables, and I bet the totally. same thing is gonna happen to you. And you know what, that's what every doctor would say, cut yes. down on meat and yep. eat more vegetables. Eat more vegetables. And you know, if yep. you make them look good, and if you don't overcook them in water, because you cut them so fine, you don't have to it's boil true. them, you don't have to steam them, you put them in a hot yep. pan, like I have here, look at that. Woo! Regina, we love having you out there. Thank you, Happy Regina. Cooking. Now, look at that. Thank you, Regina. Here we have stir fried vegetables. Okay, I have to at least try a little bite of this. Yeah. Okay, Wolf, you've got five minutes left. Is there anything on the other side that we want to okay, show? Okay, Marianne. What if I bring vegetables to you? Okay, you, you know what? That sounds good. Well, All right. Remember, it's up to you. So here we go. Michael, I'm just going to do a quick little mini tour. A beautiful, I mean, instead of like a lasagna bake, it's like a zoodle bake, right? Yeah. Instead of your tomato basil pasta at well over a thousand calories, I'm telling you, that would be well over a thousand calories yeah. if I were doing traditional pasta, maybe two or three hundred at best. How about instead of macaroni and cheese for the kids, how about zoodles with cheese? You can afford the cheese because you're, you know, it's, it's a, yeah, it's, because all, it's, it's healthy. But and, this is so good it, for you. Yes. Why? Because all the nutrients mm. are right in oh the vegetable. Gosh, they don't go anywhere. Good. Those beautiful watermelon yeah. radish, those beautiful uh, yam curls, the apple salad Wolfgang is famous for. Yeah. Then you were calling this vegeti, no, uh, uh, yeah, vegetini. Vegetini. Vegetini, vegetini. yeah, vegetini Alfredo. Mmm. And then look at that gorgeous thing. Yeah, this is the chicken salad with radishes and apples. Oh, I'm so telling you. The funny thing is, with this, if give, give me a fork. Okay, here we yeah. go. So you actually can eat them the way you eat pasta. Right. You can see it, so you... You will it. never miss the carbs. I'm okay. telling you, you will never miss the carbs. Now, here's the good news. See, normally I like to end the day with you, yeah. but now I get to say, neener, neener, I've got the weekend off, mm. so whatever's left or <laughs> later in the day, uh, good luck to you, because the pink could be gone tonight. Red, you know how much I love red. Mm. Red is the in the lead, and I can guarantee you can shop for a cookbook tonight. Now, as the day progresses, that may or may not be the case yeah. because basically we're, we're, it's going one for one. If you want to look at you it know, that way, you know, I don't even need chicken or anything. I yes. just have my pasta. I know. Alfredo so if you're doing a meatless here, Monday, it's vegetini Alfredo. Right. Okay. Patricia in Florida got her today's special. Welcome, Patricia. Hi there, how are you guys? Mm. We are good, Patricia. We're having a feast. You should be here. Oh, I, I wish I were. <laughs> yeah. Pat Patricia, What's what made you decide to get our today's special tonight? Why? Because I like vegetables and I've been using a mandolin. Yes. For I don't know how long. But you know what they say, yeah. one eats with their eyes first. And you are so, so right. Appealing. You are so right. And you know, you know, this is so beautiful. Isn't it? I do have a question for you, uh, uh, yeah. Wolfgang. Yeah. Uh, do you have any plans on coming out with an, with an uh, uh, airless oil fryer? You know what? I'm future? working on that yes. as we oh, speak. Yes. 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 I can hardly wait for it to come out. Okay, okay, Absolutely. I will do You it. and me both, Patricia. They're, they're doing this, it's like, yes, it's yeah. in the works. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Thank you, know, you, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. I already have one in the restaurant, a giant one, but I have to make a smaller one because the big one is a little too expensive right. for you at home. All right, we did. Uh, so actually, you know what, Steve, I'll do that again, just in case it wasn't clear. So this is, this is and I'll, I'll actually grab them. You get three blades, which is also unusual. You see those little teeth? That's yeah. your typical julienne. Michael, I can put it over here if that makes it easy. 
So the little teeth, that makes the little zoodles, or you know, the typical kind of spiralized ones. Here's that watermelon yep. radish. I think egg noodles, you know, like a nice wide egg noodle. I love egg noodles, I love stroganoff, you know, if yeah, that helps. Six, seven, That's seven, about seven. an egg noodle size. That's this double blade, okay? And then, if you really want to wow your guests, this is what I call the go for broke, go big or go home ribbon right? That's like tied up with a big bow. That's that cone. You get the cleaner. You also get a little lid. There are some recipes included with your purchase, but I have to stress, uh, get that cookbook and the pink, the pink, the pink, remember could be gone in tonight's show. Uh -oh. I am obviously mad about this and it's going to inspire me to eat more vegetables. Cause even with me, I, I feel like I do good with my main course, but then I kind of cheat the vegetables, which that's kind of the most important part in a way. Totally. You know, we always think, oh, you know what vegetables, right. but if they look good and they look interesting, you will eat them right away. You will. Oh no, what did you do in there? What so a that? cucumber salad. Oh! So, with the wide ribbon, Jen. Oh, yeah, that's the with the wide, wide ribbon. With, with the wide ribbon. So you can okay. make them with vinegar, or oh, you do like we that. do in Austria with sour cream, but Rene forgot the sour cream, so we okay. don't <laughs> we don't do <laughs> sour cream. He's keeping us even healthier. It's okay. my fault. It's All my right. Fault. Uh, Sashi okay, in... then just a little white wine vinegar. <laughs> okay. All right, Sashi's okay. calling in New York. Sashi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Hi, Sashi. Hi, Sashi. Forever and ever. Well, Sashi, we couldn't do it without you. He is the best. Don't you love this today's special? I love this man. Honey? He's such a crazy guy. And I love the, all of you guys. <laughs> Look, I should be asleep. I'm waiting up for this thing. <laughs> See? Well, it's a good thing you're shopping tonight, Sashi, because at the rate they're going, we don't know if it'll be here tomorrow. Now, are you trying to eat healthier, or is the food just too pretty to not at least try? Uh, I like, you know, I'm originally from India. I love vegetables. I eat tons and tons of vegetables. I've stopped eating meat completely. So this is perfect for me. And I love pasta. I, I worked in an Italian restaurant. Oh. And I'm a real pasta girl. Wow. wow. Well, Sashi, thank you for taking the time to say hi to us. Best to you in New York and happy and thank healthy you. eating. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Sashi. But don't go away. I want to ask uh, Wolfgang. Yeah? I had your bread oven. Oh, yeah. The recipes that come with it are so few and in between. Marion has to write the a bread book maker. on organic bread. Okay, we are working with my right. baker now of making yeah. more recipes for you. We, uh, okay, because I got two ovens last time. I gave one as a gift, but I've hardly okay. used mine because of the recipes. Well, okay. you know what? It's in the works, Sashi. Thank you again. We love having you out there. Okay, we are so busy. This is everything <laughs> from cold to cooked to roasted to I melted know, cheese to the most to delicious salad. looking steel fried vegetable. I know. And Cucumber and salad like my mother used oh, to make with sour cream. That makes then me want to cry. Yes, uh, a carotini oh. with a little tomato and raisin. Oh. Then we had our gratin of vegetables. He's still my heart. I mean, and my favorite, you Absolutely. know, one of my favorite is the vegetini, vegetini alfredo. alfredo. I could eat that as a main course. No I would be very happy every day. Don't forget, it all nests together. Now, most of you who are calling, sorry about that, Michael. I just have to, of course, it's not <laughs> any place handy, Marie. Uh, but most of you who are calling are getting that book. Now, remember, yeah. we don't have as many books as we do today's special. So I can promise you can get the book if you're shopping tonight. As the day progresses, who knows, right? Uh, and then, if you want the five quart, now this is what Wolfgang was doing that stir fry in. It's the first time in history that you didn't have to buy a $200 set. The only other way that you've ever been able to get this pan is in a $200 yeah, set that Wolfgang did. It is a beautiful did. pan. I mean, I saute in it, I yes. stir fry in it, Bake, I make roast, soups in it, serve. everything. You have uh, a pan like that, you can Absolutely. Cook there are so 900. You can bake in it yeah. if you want to. 900. It's great. Okay, and then if you're going to be zoodling your brains out <laughs> like I am, let me grab that extra container. Or you can bring one to work, keep one at home. Steve, how many of the extra container or carafe 
Okay, yeah. we have a, a little over 2,000. Final 2,600. Here are those measuring marks. Like Marion said, if you have a recipe that calls, say, for four cups of, you know, zoodles or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's no, just, you sure. know, smart. So uh, we do not have a back order or wait list on this, so just kind of fair warning there. Now, around the corner, my five-quart pressure cooker that you know how much I love. It's Wolfgang's number one appliance here. If you want to get a jump start on the competition, I, I can't think of a meal that I haven't done in this. You know, I do the sausages with the sauerkraut. I yeah. do my bone broth. I do pasta dishes. I mean, I do the you best know, corned beef and cabbage. You know, my son and Oliver, the other morning, we yeah. were cooking rice in his little rice yeah, cooker. Yeah, he yeah. loves it. And we were in a hurry. He said, Papa, why didn't you bring the pressure cooker? <laughs> See, even he knows. <laughs> he went to look for the pressure cooker. Even I he said, knows. no, let's eat, uh, wait for your rice, and that's fine. Absolutely. But it was so funny. He okay. said, we need the pressure cooker. It's fast. Well, you do too. Full airing is coming up next. Don't hang up on your today's special. Here's what's topping our list this week. Discover exotic gems and unique finds from your favorite HSN brands during our Tucson Gem Event tonight through Wednesday. Jay King, Carol Brody, Colleen Lopez, and more will be here. And don't miss the Tucson Gem Discovery item in every show. Plus, enjoy up to 30% off and four or more flex pay. Search Tucson Gem at hsn.com for the collection. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. I'm inspired by almost everything around me that's beautiful. I'm Victoria Wick. I grew up in South Korea, so I can see things from a different perspective and marry all the multicultural elements into one design. I'm all about balance and versatility. In the Victoria Wick collection, you're gonna find exclusive designs, high quality cuts. No detail is too small, and my designs are never ending. It's fun, timeless, and still fashionable. What's a better way to start your week than with me? What's on this week? It's the Tucson Gem Event Takeover. Your favorite jewelry guests just got back from the big gem show in Tucson. Victoria Wick, Carol Brody, and Jay King discovered new jewelry, and we have them all, Adam. Plus, get a sneak peek at Colleen Lopez's Tucson Gem Today special. The night couldn't be more dazzling. It all starts Monday at 7 p.m. Okay, who knew that vegetables could be so sexy? Mm-hmm. The one and only Wolfgang Puck. If you're still trying to get through in his today's special, almost 7,000 in this hour gone. I will forewarn you, if you want that pink, bye-bye pink. And you know what? Unless you're shopping for the cookbook in this hour, you may not be able to get it because most of the people who are getting it, and this is just one of the beautiful things that Wolfgang did. Encore Look is coming up in about 20 minutes, and here's everything else that he did. Wolfgang Puck, you make the world's best pressure cooker. It's your number one appliance. You sold more pressure cookers here and this is what we call the just right size i know i love that you know and yeah. i know some people want the big one right but i much rather have, i have actually two smaller ones right you know what for the price you can get two small ones you can and then if you want to make soup in one you want to make mashed potatoes and or cook your beef you have both pressure cooker you don't you need do. an oven you don't hey real quick thing you pick your color of choice the red the black the wolf king puck blue I think, Steve, the blue is probably the most limited at this point. You cannot screw up this yeah. lid. That's one of my favorites. I mean, it is so it simple. It is. Non-stick interior, yep. recipe booklet, but we got to show them, right? I know. We got to okay. show them. And here is one of our all-time favorites. It was my favorite since I am six years old. Is rice flesh. Rice flesh. Who doesn't like rice? Everybody. Yeah. So now look at that. This is perfectly oh, cooked rice yeah. with sausages. You can add beef, chicken, right. frozen right. stuff. 
So if Whatever you, you like. Now look at that. So that's just it. If you are trying to economize for a family. And see, this is the five quart. Now it is. I have six portions of rice here. Nice. Oh, look I'm at telling that. you. Uh, you do you know, this This is going to be the most used appliance yeah. in tandem with that today's special that you're getting. Hey, one quick word to the wise. Answer? You know how most of you are get Mary, getting Marion's cookbook, and you should on that today's special? Get that pressure cooker cook, cookbook, yeah. because two Can things. His favorite recipes are in here, but then they also, there's a little conversion chart that Marion did for you. I, as many of you know, I own every size pressure cooker in the world, what but you if you that? want to do it in eight, if you want to do it, so actually, this Michael, this is what I'm talking about. Sorry, my friend. Uh, depending on the various size of the pressure cooker that you have, this is very unusual for a pressure cooker cookbook. So you see, here's a five quart, there's a six quart, there's an eight quart, there's a 10 quart. So Marion does all the conversions for you. And here's the other cool thing. There's no more little wiggly top hat. There's no more exploding spaghetti sauce on the ceiling. This will not open if it's under pressure. And not only that, Wolfgang, it doesn't start coming down or... You want to take it home? <laughs> <laughs> Already got one, thanks. <laughs> So Wolfgang Puck, okay. uh, what are you doing for us in Okay, here? now I'm gonna show you how to make the rice flesh okay. for sure. All right, now, you don't always have fresh ingredients at home. I don't either, right. but I always have a freezer. I have meat in the freezer, some ground hamburger meat or chicken breast. Galila loves to eat uh, chicken breast yeah. because she's always on a diet too. Sure. So, now we're gonna add frozen. Right, so those, you can even see the ice. You know, I'm just you gonna see that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, the ice on the chicken. <laughs> Okay, now they're separated. All right, good. So now, vegetables, uh, you love vegetables like right. I do. Add as many or as little as you want. Okay. Turmeric, like garlic, and a yeah. little paprika. I'm adding turmeric to everything because of you. I yeah. Thank you very much. Really yeah. Turmeric is good for your brain. Yeah, absolutely. They say it's Joints. the best thing. Then, yeah. okay. if you like a little chili flake. I like it spicy, you know that. Spicy. Okay. Then we put salt and pepper. Gotcha. So it's all cold. You don't have to worry about heating, defrosting, no, nothing. No Just stirring, like that. no babysitting. Then you like rice? Yeah. Everybody loves rice, so I'm yep. going to put in a cup of rice. Right. And the same amount of liquid. Right, so a one-to-one one ratio. If you don't have any broth, put in... Water. You know, stock or water, stock absolutely. Or water. So, and then you just close the lid up. Then right? all you have to do, don't forget to put salt in it, you yep. know, because it's much better if you season it first and Before then, you cook it. all yeah. right, so then you see here, open, closed. Right. See that? Open, absolutely. closed. So now it's closed. Yep. You put this Got thing on seal. seal. Yeah. Oh my God, my eyesight is getting worse and worse. <laughs> Am I getting old here or what? Never. Jesus Christ. Do you know what Christ. I was thinking about this? Isn't he like the portrait of Dorian Gray? Because I've known you for over 20 years now. Yeah. You really do. I mean, you have as much energy. I think you look younger than ever. I really okay, do, thank for you, sure. Thank but it's you. true. But And Lord knows, he keeps getting better and better in the kitchen. Remember, this is only as long as supplies last. Get it. You'll never look back. Anita in Florida. By the way, we're paying for your shipping on this, just like that today's special. Yeah. Oh, cool. Anita is shopping in Florida. Anita got our today's special. Hi, Anita. Oh, you're going to love it. You Hi, know? Anita. Hi, Anita. Hi, I'm so honored to meet you. Uh, Thank you. Good to talk to you. So, Anita, what made you decide to get that Best Buy of the Day? Well, my birthday was Tuesday, so that was one of my birthday presents, along with the recipe cookbook, and I got two salad spinners tonight as oh, well. Oh, wow. Perfect. Boy, somebody's going to be eating healthy in your I home. I know. I can see already. Yes, I have a lot of your other products, too, and I'm very happy with all of them. Oh, thank you. You know, I probably wouldn't be here yeah. if people wouldn't be happy with my products. You know, it's if really not, true. I would he be gone, that. retired somewhere he really means on that. a pasture in Kentucky. Right. I mean, <laughs> put you out to pasture. I know. Out to stud. With out to stud. You're right. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. You have a lot of confidence in me. I, I like that. <laughs> Anita, we're so glad you could join us for the show. Happy, healthy eating and a happy belated birthday in Florida, okay? okay. Thank you. Have thank you, Anita. Day. Enjoy. Thank Good you, to talk. To you. I love when people okay, call. But now no more excuses that I forgot to take the hamburger out. I know. Kids, you don't right? have to defrost it. And you know what? It nope. smells bad when you defrost it anyway. That's true. No, okay. Frost on frost the hamburger. Frost on it. Frost on the hamburger. Pasta, the pasta you like. All right. 
Maybe put a, make a marinara. We always add a little carrots, onions, yep. and then garlic. Okay. And notice that Wolfgang... Oh, you, a lot of onions. Do you know what? It actually takes you longer to boil the water for the pasta than it I does know. to make this. So no, I'm serious about that. If you want to make good Italian food, always add a little rosemary to it. Rosemary. Okay. Can't forget to season it, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sacrilegious. I know. It would. But you know the other cool thing about this? Uh, Wolfgang, obviously, he, he, is, he has no peer in the world of cooking but you don't have to be a wolfgang puck to succeed with this that's maybe right. why i that's like it the so much same amount of liquid so right. if you want one to one one to one yeah. so if you like it red add a little stock of water oh, and the rest tomato idea. sauce oh, i haven't done that before i'll have to all do right, that so now you got but, it but you know what's so cool too wolfgang is if somebody's not good in the kitchen they don't have to wait for water to boil they don't exactly. have to babysit a stock pod you don't babysit this at all now look at that so now you have right. that you can add more veggies if you like right. you decide what you so want so that's frozen hamburger yep. dry pasta, pasta. Yep. a little you know bone broth or a little broth, broth and then yeah. and, and a little put it on seal sauce. and okay. you you can see it here again. And you turn the dial. See, um, open, close. So now you turn on the dial. I know. You one of these days. Six I minutes promise. or eight minutes under pressure, and you're done. Okay, think about that. Six to eight minutes under pressure. I don't it know takes if I put you this on. longer Did to boil the water for the pasta. Oh, it takes you longer to boil water for the pasta than you're gonna have a whole meal. Yeah. So remember, if you're getting it, get the cookbook. And it's I've actually I've never seen another pressure cooker cookbook that actually has a conversion table for the different sizes of pressure cookers, which I think is fantastic. You get so many great ideas. Yeah. But it's it, once you try this. It, it's a set it and forget it machine. You will never, ever, ever look back. And Wolfgang, we forget too. Yes, it's fast, but if it didn't taste good, I who know, cares? I wouldn't use it. Who that, cares? You know what is so good? With the pressure cooker, all the flavor stays inside. They do. And because it's under pressure, really, the gelatin in the meat and everything melts and it makes everything yeah. so much more succulent and tender and it juicy. It does. It really does. Yeah. So what do you have in there? The Here we pleaser? have macaroni and cheese. We okay. did already a Grammy party today. Yeah. And guess what was the biggest seller? Macaroni and Macaroni cheese. Macaroni and cheese, and they we made fried chicken Ooh. in waffle cones with a little honey on top. Oh, that's I'll a show great you the idea. Hey, Pamela in Maryland got that today special, and yeah. she has the pressure cooker. Hi, Hi Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi, how are you? We I are am great. excellent. Thank you. How about you? This, I am great. This product is amazing. Isn't it? I got this pressure cooker about six weeks ago, and we have been cooking it almost every evening. Yeah. It is spectacular. Uh, like you said, you can put the frozen uh, meat in and your condiments and your vegetables and turn out a perfect meal in probably uh, about uh, one Most to one and a half hours door to door, depending upon how long it has to cook the meat yeah. and the vegetables and that kind of thing. Well, and Pamela, isn't it nice? I mean, it kind of takes the pressure, I guess pun intended, off us. Because, yeah. you know, we don't have to, you know, mind the stove. We don't have to babysit or stir. Isn't it fun to put the ingredients in, let the pressure cooker do its thing, and then get an amazing home-cooked meal? Yes, absolutely, and I have to say that even all my historic recipes, like my all other beef stew recipes and things that aren't even in the cookbook, yeah. I put everything in there and I've tried it, and it's working out great. Oh, it's thank really, you. really, really fabulous. We've had Good. such a great time with it. Good. Yeah, thank and you, you know, so it is much. so great. I love it. And I just actually ordered the spiralizer as well oh, okay, Brandon good. Zoodles and all these other products so thank you uh, okay, thank for you. fabulous products. You know yeah, what well, is so great with the you. pressure cooker you can buy inexpensive cuts of meat and taste them make them taste like a million dollars you, can. you know Pamela, like a fancy we love restaurant. You. Thank Thanks, you so Pamela. much for the phone call. All right you're going to show okay, us how to do the macaroni mac and cheese. And cheese. Look all at right. that. I added a little butter if you want right. no butter. Dry noodles. Dry macaroni. Okay. You can add a little milk or right. stock or cream. Yep. You decide what you one add to into one it. Ratio. Okay. Okay. Now, Marianne gave me a little carrot juice. You know when you oh. get this macaroni and cheese, they're, they're the always box. yellowy a little uh -huh. bit? Yeah. So if we want to keep uh -huh. the yellow color, or you add a lot of the yellow cheese, oh, that's or a if good not, tip. a little carrot juice. Yeah, okay. Yep. And then, and then when you can add a little bit. We're going to add a little bit now, right. and, and then the rest a little bit later at too. the end. Okay. And remember, it's a set it and forget it. Yeah. Hey, one quick thing, because I know Pamela was uh, calling. She got her today's special. 
You team this up because remember the pressure cooker is literally taking the pressure off of you. And then you do your side dishes with your today's special. And I tell you what, it is a feast for the eyes. So, you know, instead of having your tomato basil pasta with your, you know, rigatoni or your macaroni and cheese, you could do that with your today's special. My favorite thing is not that it's fast, believe it or not, it's that the foods taste better. And Wolfgang, it's really true. I mean, in yeah. great kitchens across America, pressure cookers are really kind of the hidden secret of great chefs. You know chefs. what? So many people start to cook, so many chefs start. Why? Yeah, because they do. if you make a chicken stock, a lobster stock, any kind of stock in the pressure cooker, it is so much better than it cooking it for three hours on the stove. It's so, so true. This is really an amazing happen. I remember five years ago when I was in England at my friend's uh, restaurant called The Fat Duck, and I see pressure cookers there. I said, Heston, what are you doing selling pressure cookers? He says, no, we make all our stocks in the pressure cooker. So I said, really, why? And he said, you know why? Because it tastes much stronger, you have much more flavor. And I said, you know what? I make chicken soup and other stuff always in there and it tastes better. Sorry, I was snitching some okay. of the zoodles. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. You caught me. All but, right, that's you know okay, so you're, you're here to eat. I mean, he really is the real deal. And you know, even if you're watching the show and you're saying, well, who is a Wolfgang Puck but Wolfgang Puck? Even if you're not so great in the kitchen, I promise you, you can do this. Yep. If, if you burn water at home, the, you can't screw this you up. Know, and the you can't mess it up. The great thing with that is you don't have to do anything. You put right. it on the stove, you go to the hairdresser, watch a movie, play yep. with the kids. Exactly. This will stop itself because it has a timer. Yep. Then it will keep it warm. It so does. if you go at 12 o'clock, your husband comes home at 6 o'clock at yep. night, Put on the rice, the pasta, yeah. and then it will stop it, yep. and you will have a nutritious, it, good you meal. You will. I made a, a mini bone broth in this, and yeah. I went to a movie. Yeah. And I knew my pressure cooker would be done yeah, cooking. Yeah, so you don't have to worry. It's going to overflow. Right. It's going to burn I, I or anything like that. I didn't worry. I came yeah. home, and then it was, it was done. It was ready for me. Now, look at the cooking potatoes. Yeah. We know, always know water is the enemy of taste. Water has no taste. No, so right. if you soak things in water, yeah. they lose their flavor. So sure. look how we cook the potatoes in here. Oh, Some Yukon Gold yeah. potatoes for mashed potatoes. Yeah. One cup of water for five pounds of potatoes. Okay. All you need okay. is enough water to create a little steam, and that's it. And then look at that. So you can get their rice. I don't know if you still have their rice. Look at that. See how easy it is? Oh, That's how you that. make the best mashed potato. You do. All right, here's the scoop all the guys. We have your color of choice now. Most of you who are getting this are getting the cookbook as well. It, remember, everything for Wolfgang, he only does this twice a year, everything in Wolfgang's repertoire is on sale. Every single thing. Go to hsn.com. Now, this has free shipping, as does our today's special. But if you spend $99 in the kitchen, not just on Wolfgang, but $99 in the kitchen today, that offer is good for the next 48 hours, you're getting free shipping on everything. And then ask about that cookbook. Now, most of you who are getting our today's special are also getting uh, the, the spiralizing or the spiral teeny uh, cookbook. Get that pressure cooker cookbook. So many wonderful ideas. Uh, many of the things that you see Wolfgang demonstrate on the air, but it's one of the few, in fact, I don't even know if I've ever seen another pressure cooker cookbook that breaks it down per size. I mean, I think that's genius. Yeah. So, uh, John is calling in Ohio. Hi, John Hi, in Ohio. Hi, John. No, we're making Ohio food here. It's cold over there, <laughs> snowing. I know, right? some home-cooked no, mashed potatoes. No, no, but it's, it's a little warm. It's supposed to warm up this weekend. Yeah. Well, good. Well, hey, John, I... It's I, almost I, like Florida weather. I, I guess I talked to my mom in Minnesota, and she said, too, it's 55 degrees. <laughs> oh, that's I know. Hey, John, we hear you. Now, do you have the pressure cooker or did you get it tonight? Well, I just got it tonight because we've never had one. And, oh. uh, you and know, like, a lot of people always said, ah, pressure cooker this or yeah. pressure cooker that. You know, once you get one, once you start pressure cooking, you're going to say, how did I wait for really so long? True. My grandmother used to have one for the stove top. And you know, that was so difficult to use. This it is was. so simple, it's electric. Oh, John, you're going to love it, I'm yeah. telling you. Because yeah. uh, you hear so many horror stories about pressure cookers of the old days. Right? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what? This is not that. And I'm like you. It's, you know what's so funny? Before I got Wolfgang's pressure cooker, I was, you know, kind of a scary cat and now there's not a week that goes by that I don't use his you'll find yourself looking for things to pressure cook just because they're so fast and because they taste so good right exactly so you know and you know a while ago my wife bought the Wolfgang Puck uh, 
17 piece bistro set and oh, she loves it. Absolutely. Well, John, well, best. It's the first time we've, uh, you know, I've never really watched this <laughs> that much, so it's just kind of like a newer, new to it. Well, you're picking some good ones to get started, that's yeah, for sure. I think so, too. I think it's perfect. Hey, now, look at that here. There, you try to make the cabbage <laughs> rolls. I would save leftovers for you and your wife, John, believe me. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we make that a lot. Oh, well, John, nice to have you here. Best to you thank and your you, wife, Thank you, John. Okay? Look at that. I should uh, look at you John. Thanks for calling, John. You do the same. Thank you, John. He's in Cleveland or better uh, In say? Ohio. Yeah, actually, oh, oh, Maple Heights. Uh, Maple Heights, Ohio. There you go. Okay, now oh, look at this. These are okay. famous cabbage rolls. Now, Beautiful. you know, I grew up at home. We did not have a lot of meat. We did not have a lot of expensive wow, wow, stuff. Wow, wow, wow. But we got some ground pork yep. and then wrap it in a lot in a double cabbage yeah. shape so you had more cabbage than pork, really. Yeah. Yeah, because we didn't have a lot of pork, right. a lot it, it of meat. It makes sense. But you know, Wolfgang, that's an excellent point. What a lot of people don't realize is yeah. you can use cheaper cuts of meat and they taste more expensive in the exactly. pressure cooker, right? Because you infuse the food with all the flavor. It's that's really true. a big difference. In a regular stove top, in a regular pot, the flavor goes in the air. Right. The water uh, goes away, right. and Evaporate. then you have to add more beta. More flavor goes away. Yeah. So here, everything, the nutrients and the flavor stays in here. It's the opposite. If you add garlic, rosemary, whatever you add in here, it will infuse your meat, it will. whatever it is, with lots of flavor. It, it will. Now remember again, we've got the red, the black, and the Wolfgang Puck blue. It's what we call the just right size. Yeah. This is Wolfgang's is number one appliance here at is HSN. There's a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, and once you try it, you're going to be hooked. I'll just tell you that yeah, right oh, now. Yeah, totally. Now look at you that. You really will. Making soups. It's yeah. still wintertime soup. Butternut squash soup, turnip soup, whatever no. you like. Uh, I could do soup, you know, 12 months out of the year. Yeah, and you, you know I'm what? A huge soup it's so fan. funny because we do this soup in all of our restaurants at the airport. When I take it off, people get upset and say, "What the heck is going on? Where's my butternut squash soup?" See how easy it is, I puree it right in here. Okay, wow. And right. look, at, look at the color, it looks oh, just so perfect. Beautiful. But you know, that's just it. You know, when you think of pressure cooking, yes, you think of, you know, kind of home, you know, stick to your ribs yeah. cooking, but you could just as well do artichokes in exactly. this. Exactly. I mean, you really any, could. Any kind, no, any I add thing. a little touch of honey to it. Okay, so a little sweetness. A little sweetness, yep. it's always good. And you can add a little Well, your little fur babies at home, I'm telling yep. you, you could do rices, you could do quinoa. Exactly. I actually have a lot of friends who cook the rice right. for their animals they right do, in here. It's actually really healthy for them. Yeah, I no, mean, totally. It is. And you know what's so fun? It takes you yeah. so little time. And look at that. And look at the color. color. It looks a perfect oh color. Gosh. So you serve a bowl of soup beautiful. like that. If you want, put some sauteed apples on it. Cook some cranberries with a little touch of sugar, put that on top of it, or put a little touch of cream, whatever you like. And you have a beautiful soup right out of the pressure okay, cooker. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? Well, Anna in California is already a fan. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Chef. I love this. I am so excellent. Hi, now, even better that you called. Super great today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> What can I do so, for you? So, Anna, what do you love most about your pressure cooker? Your pressure cooker saved me so much time. I'm a mother of two kids. There's no time. They're all busy riding around. Right? Uh, I, I know. I have two boys. You know, right. they are pretty crazy. It's true. Yeah, and it, make, it takes me maybe yeah. 10 or 50 minutes to cook the entire meal, and I have to catch my kids to sit them down. And while I'm doing that, I'm cooking. It and, takes yeah. no time. And I also have your pressure um, cooker book. Nice. Which I bought just for one recipe and one recipe and all. Your 
a wonderful rice that you make. Oh, yes, the rice flesh. I know. I know. You awesome. know, each time I make the rice flesh, it reminds me of my grandmother, yeah. you know, because she was the most frugal cook in the world, yet her food tasted almost delicious. That's so true. Yeah. And uh, you really said it best. You sound like such a great mom, and, and we love that you're cooking for the kids. And thank you so much for taking time to thank say hi to you. us. Thank you. Now, I'm going to show you. I was talking about thank you, you Anna. how frugal my grandmother was. Yeah. So she made goulash, let's say, on Sunday. Right. And then with the leftover sauce, she always made it with a lot of sauce. She added potatoes. Okay. And then she covered it again. We don't have a blue one. Put the red one on. <laughs> <laughs> we make that don't I like how you always mix mi and match. Mix and match, yeah. You know, so now that? put it's it on works. six minutes. <laughs> And you know, you will taste potatoes like you never had before. Yeah. This, we call no it potato kidding. goulash. We used to eat it, and we were the happiest kids in the world and said, oh, my God, that tastes so good. <laughs> yeah, it's really true. And, you know, that's a fun thing. I mean, even the most economical of meals taste more expensive. So I know we have very limited time. We're coming up to an encore presentation of that today's special. Pick, uh, actually 8,000 of those today's specials gone, which is actually a big, big part of the inventory. One quick word to the wise, and I don't think we have time to demonstrate it or not, but you can also do great desserts in this. Yeah. So if you want to do flans, if you want to do cheesecakes, oh, I have one here. corned beef. Okay. Mm. Oh, there you go. Well, speaking of here. which, <laughs> <laughs> as if on cue. He's eating the dash. I, I was going to say, all right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> man. Yes. Okay. Yes, he said. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and I'm gonna yeah. show you. Perfectly cooked. Look at that. Oh, wow. See, so we'll see that no holes in here, no nothing. It actually looks more moist in the pressure cooker, doesn't oh, it? it? It looks moist than and any perfectly oven. cooked. Mm -hmm. it, it is because... You it, know how hard it is to watch creme brulee cooking in the oven because if your water starts to boil, you might as well just eat uh, 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 cooked eggs. It won't have the flavor of creme brulee. No, you're right. it, it tastes like overcooked eggs. So well, it's and here's difficult. the thing. Steve, do we have time to unveil either the lamb shanks or the corned beef? Because What are you making over there, Mayan? Well, uh, we're waiting Absolutely. for you, Hefe. Don't wait for me.